Hi, this is Avar from Scrappy Mania, and today I'm going to go over a tutorial how to convert a free clip art into a, a black and white with your photo, Photoshop elements. And then you're going to be able to import that into your shortcuts a lot, and any of your die cutters could cut it. Any die cutter that does accept SVG files. This is by request. I got a subscriber that asked me how I did this and um, I'm going to go ahead and show her how to do it. So first of all you find the clip art and um, I just want to let you know that you need to stay away from any copyrighted material. Those you don't want to um, copy and import. What you want to use are the ones that are free clip art. And you can also buy, one thing that I do is I buy CD. There's a CD or soft that you can buy that has tons of these free clip art and then you can do whatever you want with that once you buy it. So this is one that I found on the internet so I'm going to show you how to do this little dinosaur here and um, and if you have a clip art that is black and white it's even better because you don't have to be doing the conversion that I'm doing. So this is I have to convert this to black and white in order for those shortcuts a lot to be able to trace it and be able to see the cut the cut edges. So let me go ahead and I already saved it. So you 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 grab the image, you save it. It has to be either bitmap or JPEG. Those are the two that you want to use. And I already saved it, so I'm gonna go into Photoshop Elements. I'm gonna hit open and I'm gonna look for my image. And I'm going to click on that one and, and, and set open. So there is my clip art. Now the next thing I need to do is convert it into black and white. So I need to go up here for enhance, where it says enhance. And I need to tell it to convert to black and white. And you really need, right, right now there's not a high contrast. So I really need to make sure that there's a high contrast between the different tones for, for my machine to recognize it or for my shortcuts a lot to recognize it and make the cut file. So I usually just go into the contrast and try to get it as much contrast as, as I can. Okay. Then I'm going to go into red. And I'm going to manipulate this until I can really see, I strip it of all color and I can really see the cut lines. Now these cut lines here, in a moment I'm going to kind of, you keep playing with the, um, with the settings until you are satisfied with the image. So I'm satisfied with the image so far and then I'm going to hit OK. The next thing I want to do is I really want to sharpen this image. So I'm going to go into um, Enhance again and I'm going to go Adjust Sharpness. And I'm really going to sharpen this image. And hit OK. And that looks fine. Another thing, I think it will cut out okay, so now I'm ready to save, so I'm going to go ahead and hit save as, and I'll save it as clip art number four. And I'm going to go ahead and save it as a JPEG, and hit save. So now I'm going to open my shortcuts a lot. And then I'm going to click on the little button right next to SVG. There's another button that says Trace Image. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to browse within my photo library. And I'm going to look for my clip art. And then I'm going to hit Open. And then I'm going to hit OK. And there is my image. So as you can see, if I go in and look at the preview, that's what shortcuts a lot is going to cut, what's in the red. Now, what if I want to make a shadow for this, so the best way to do that is you're going to go into Edit, Copy, or you can right-click and copy. And then you're going to do Edit and Paste, or right-click and Paste. And you're going to make another image of the one that you just created. You're going to move this one aside. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and select that image and I'm gonna go over here where it says appearance and I'm gonna go into style and I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to make me a shadow and I want it rounded and there's my shadow and actually let's go ahead and do blackout there there's my blackout it's better blackout so you kind of play with it to see if it's gonna produce what you want to produce and then it has a lot of layers in here so what I want to do is I want to go object break apart and then you have the different little layers so actually you can use this if you want to create different layers for your dinosaurs like you can want the body this to be another a layer and these layers that's how you do it you break it apart and then you you break the layers apart I'm gonna delete these layers because I really don't care for them and now I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it fits my dinosaur it does and then I can go ahead and kinda make it a little bigger then put it on top of my dinosaur and you can see how that's how you create a shadow so there's my shadow and this is what's gonna cut another thing you can do is simplify so if you simplify it just simplifies the the image okay and then one thing I like to do is also if I break it apart and then merge it go in here and merge it now what I'm trying to accomplish is I don't really want those double lines that I was seeing so basically I think that's it that's my file so that's how you convert an image in order to for your shortcuts a lot to cut it now if you had a black and white image so if you happen to get a black and white image and I'm going to show you one that I have grabbed um, I have created so like this bicycle here it's a black and white image and actually how I did this is I have a stamp so this is a stamp okay I stamped this actually I, I scanned this I scanned this piece I scanned this piece and then I went ahead in Photoshop and I, I darkened it more and I, I made an image of it so then you're gonna do open and you're going to hit OK. And now you can see this is my bike. Okay. And then I can cut that. If I look at the cut, that will be my bike. The reason why I made that bike, and later I'm going to show you a tutorial, is that I created that bike so that way I can make a shadow outline and then my quick my shortcuts a lot could cut the the shadow and then later on I just stamp it just like this one this is a radio stamp that I got this is the stamp and I cut it I mean I stamped it I put it on um, Photoshop and I made it black and white I imported it and then I went ahead and make sure, measured it and make sure that it will fit my stamp and I did that also with tickets I got this ticket stamp right here and I I stamped it, scanned it, and then I my shortcuts a lot could cut the tickets so I don't have to use scissors, and it will stamp, and then I stamp it, and there's my my um my image. So this is how it looks, and then this is how it looks after I stamp it. So I hope this was informative. I hope you um, learn how to do how to import images into shortcuts a lot and then um, then you just send that to your die cutter and it will cut for you so thank you for watching
and I hope this explains it. Bye.